Hi, Cancer. This is going to be your reading for um, the rest of 2018 to see what we need what energies we need to get rid of and what things we need to be aware of so we can make our 2019 the best. Um, this is for Cancer Sun and Rising. I actually spent all weekend with a Cancer, so, <laughs> which is funny. I've been watching, um, I watched another video and it was like, she was saying how people keep blaming her for shit. And I watched another, oops, I watched another reading actually. And it said, like, we're in a Cancer moon, so it can feel like, people just keep trying to put shit on you and because I guess the north node is in cancer not the moon I'm sorry the north node is in cancer right now and um so people could be blaming you for a lot of shit because right now you are the cosmic mother basically you are um and cancers are so emotional it's the end of the year and it's like close to Christmas so it's like all this extra added stress on you so just like let the shit roll off your back right now the energy could be really heavy and so it's like, don't let these people put this shit on you. Just, all right, I'll take it, whatever. But don't get in your feelings. Don't cry. If you need to cry it out, go cry it out and get back to your shit. Because cancers are dope. I love cancers. Y'all so sweet and like, but y'all try to pretend like you're not. Like, you try to, my friend, she, oh, Knight of Pentacles. So you could have been working hard, really hard on something this year, but you're moving slow, okay? This energy is, like, slow but steady. So you know what you want. Um, you know how to get it, but you're just been moving in this, oops, slow-ass energy. But with the Knight of Wands, here's a fire. Here's a spark in your ass. So, <laughs> there you go. That's a good energy for 2019. Ooh, with the King of Cups. So that's it. The water is, you guys. King of Cups means he's on top of his, um, he's the King of Castle. You know what I'm saying? He's... He's in control of his emotions. He is doing the best he can for everyone and is just and benevolent with it. So it's like, you are, um, let me pull some more. It could be like, or you could be dealing with another, um, another water sign. It could be, um, Scorpio or Pisces. Um, so maybe you've been in a relationship with, uh, them and a friendship and you really it's been moving slow and steady but this just lights that spark under your ass so maybe you're in a new relationship or um maybe an existing definitely maybe an existing relationship is starting to um be promising Ooh, definitely there's a nine of cups energy um so he's happy he's got all his cups he's almost to completion so this is definitely a celebratory energy. It's, um, everyone got to cup, you know what I'm saying? It's like, let's party, like, <laughs> we, these two definitely, it's like, that's a party for sure. Um, oop. ooh, but you might have had some energies around you that you, um, I guess like leeches or like, like these people speaking bad on you or people putting shit on you right now. It's like you've been fighting a lot. You've been having to hold your ground and, um, basically you've just been trying to keep these energies above you, these fuck ass people above you. Ooh, the chariot though. This means you need to control opposing forces in your life. You, um, and not by force, but you see, he has no reins, like, with this, he, he's not controlling these animals by steering them with something. It's like he's using pure willpower, pure mind. He's using his, um, like, emotions or, like, um, pure, it's like you don't have to, sometimes winning somebody over or making them do what you want to do is, like, not about forcing them to do it. I mean, they don't have to be in a manipulative, fucked up way. It could be for their best interest. And they don't see it yet. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you don't have to force people to do shit. Sometimes it's better to... Sometimes you win by surrendering. Sometimes you win by letting them think they win. That's real. You know what I'm saying? That's how you can gain real control. And it's not, don't do it in a manipulative way. It's for people's, everyone's best interest. And cancer, I definitely think, is um, one of the... Cancer is definitely a lover, you know what I'm saying? Y'all are sweet, y'all are definitely 
lovers. It's like you want love and you want to give love to everyone, really. Even though you're, you know, crabby and you want to not get so close to everyone, um, when people get to know you, you're a big softie. So, um, just whatever thing is in your life, maybe it's two people. Um, and that could be with this Knight of Wands, Knight of Pentacles is. Maybe it's two people in your life, um, a fire sign and an earth sign. So, Virgo, um, Virgo Capricorn Taurus, or a, uh, um, sorry, one, <laughs> uh, Aries, what's the other fire sign, Sag, or, um, Aries, Sag, or, I'm missing one, but apparently it's not important, I already thought of it. Not that it's not important, but, you know, is that on, <clears throat> um, so, that's what I'm getting. So, maybe you're, because these two are looking at each other, like, the two horses and shit, it's like it's a face-off between these two signs, fire and earth. So, maybe you have one lover that's, like, very passionate and the other one's slow and steady, because, like, do you want that passion or do you want that slow, steady trust, or that slow, steady, um, this might not be the most exciting relationship, but it's definitely, um, for the long haul. You know what I'm saying? So, that's my... Might be what you're dealing with right now. Or it could be even friends. It could be two um, things within yourself. It could be maybe you're dealing with um, money versus your passions. Like you want to go for your passions, but you don't have the money yet. Or you've been working hard and it's something's not coming to fruition yet. But it's going to. It's going to. What do we got here? Ooh. Justice and the Tower. So something has been built on some bullshit. So this is you breaking down these old structures, throwing some motherfuckers out of your circle, like, get the fuck out my house, bitch. Like, get the fuck up off me. Get out. Like, no. Like, you can't sit with us. Move. Like, get the fuck out of here. If you are not going to be just and fucking, like, if you're not going to be fair, or you're, maybe one of these people is playing you, you know what I'm saying? If you're not going to be fair and you're not going to treat me how I deserve to be treated, get the fuck out of my house, basically. So watch your energy. Definitely with this guy. Fight fight off these motherfuckers. Don't, without fighting. You know what I'm saying? That's what this is. Like, don't fight. Control these energies by maybe some submitting a little bit. What do we got here? Oh, Page of Swords with the Ace of Pentacles. So this is a new study, or this is studying something, going after something you want, being clear, trying to cut away the bullshit, but in Ace of Pentacles it is, like, you're right here in the garden, like, you're about to go through, like, come into the garden, like, you have a new opportunity that's going to bring you money, um, definitely. So if you're dealing with, um, like I said, like, you're trying to do something new with your passions, with your with yourself, but you're lacking money. This new opportunity is going to bring you material success. It's going to, it, and it's going to bring you, you know, happiness with um, cutting away all these negative forces that are trying to oppose you right now. Let me put some clarification cards. Um. understanding so trying to get to the bottom of whatever this is and see it clearly now this bird is in a cage right he's in a cage he's looking out at the other birds flying and he's like damn like i'm gonna be flying he has to understand like the door is open he's not stuck he's not trapped he's just chilling like he doesn't realize like he can go maybe you're feeling um victimized personally victimized and it's just you victimizing yourself. Ooh, traveling. So, definitely, when these birds are all outside the fucking thing, and he's just staring and looking at it. So maybe that you can't sit with me energy was how you were feeling, like somebody else was saying, like, you can't sit with us. You're feeling like, oh, these people are against me, and maybe it's just the way your personal thinking. And if you realize, like, the door is open, 
you are able to come in. You can come into the garden. You can come out your cage. You can you can go. It's all in your own understanding and your own um, thoughts. How what you are manifesting for yourself. Everything is your own thought. There's nothing outside of you that exists. Basically, it's like if that's what you think and you believe, that's what's going to happen. So if you believe you can't get out of the cage, if you believe you can't fucking fly with the rest of the motherfuckers, and you're just sitting here chilling when you have all this. <clears throat> You're just, I feel like you're putting this bad energy on yourself a lot, and it might be the energies in regardless, but realize that you are good enough. Like, you you can fly with these motherfuckers. You are at the top. You stop valuing yourself less than you actually, like, your worth is so high. And you're letting these other people's energies get to you and make you feel lesser than and fuck them. You are good enough to sit there. Like, bitch, like, you can't sit with me, like, you know what I'm saying, like, not in a me way, but, like, I can't fuck with you anymore, because you're dragging me down, you are making me feel some type of way about myself, and that's what I think, definitely, 2018, the end of it's definitely this end of the year energy, get these fuck-ass people up and away from you, like, just, 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 it's a day to cut your fucking, go through your phone, and just delete, 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 it's a day to re really evaluate your relationships, um, reform these. Ooh. But as soon as you do that, celebration. Definitely. That's these cards too, so. You're the king of cups. You are <laughs> in this one. That's what I'm telling you. That's like, you have everything you need. You're beautiful. Don't let these fuck-ass people make you feel any type of way because you're Gucci. You're good. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna figure it out the rest of the year. Trust me. <laughs> And it's funny because this one it says you need a big fucking hug. Please. So, Cancer, don't let these people get you down. Um, if you guys want a personal reading, go to my website, tylerdesantis.com. Um, and you can find um, a link to get a 10, 20, or 30-minute reading with me. Um, but, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Um, I'll see you guys in 2019. Bye.